Hi guys, welcome to Dominate Fishing. I'm Dan Meyer and in this short video we're going to talk about the three factors that determine a crappie's movement. And actually we're really going to focus on two of them because we're going to focus on figuring out a crappie's movement for the summer so you can catch more fish in the summer. So the three factors that really dictate a crappie's movement all year long are shelter or safety, food and spawning. Now in the summer we don't have to worry about spawning so we're not gonna we're not gonna look into that factor in this video we're just gonna look at food and shelter. So crappies in the summertime are fo focused on those two things where can they get food and where can they be safe. So when we look at where crappies are in the summertime it's in relation to the deep weed edge of you know wherever they're holding. So if they're holding on a hump or a point, they're going to find the weeds on that structure, and then they're going to the, the kind of the pivot point of their daily movement is going to be the edge of those weeds, the deep edge, because that's where they're going to feed. So during the daytime, you, you know, well first off, when when we're looking at fishing for muskies or northerns bass, walleyes, where are we going to fish them? Well, we're going to look for the same structure and we're going to fish the drop off out in front of the weeds. That That's where they're going to be. So, that's where the crappies, you know, that's the pivot point for the crappies, but there are all those predator fish there too. So, during the day, those crappies, they're going to push off that, that structure where all those predator fish are, they're going to push out into the deep water and they're going to suspend because they're safer out there. They don't want to be in there with the big muskies and the northerns that are going to eat them. So they're going to be out in deeper water. Then the other two big factor is food. They're going to need to feed. So uh, late at night, at night and early in the morning, those crappies, they're going to move up onto that weed edge and they're going to feed. Now, when they're up on that weed edge, if there's a lot of predator fish, which there is a lot of time, what's going to happen is that's going to push those crappies up into the weeds. So when you're fishing crappies early in the morning or late at night, if you start on that weed edge and you're not getting a lot of bites, push up into those weeds because if there's predator fish there, which there probably will be, it's going to push those crappies up into the weeds where they're safer. That way they're safe while they're feeding. Then as that sun comes up, those crappies are going to push back out into that deeper water where they're safe and suspend until the next day when they can do it all again. So when you're, you're going out to fish crappies, understanding these the two driving factors, food and safety, that's really going to help you. Another thing is a good spot to find crappies is in brush piles. That offers uh, a really good... That gives them an opportunity to do both both things, feed and be safe. If the crappies are tight into those brush piles, which they probably are, and you're saying, why are they tight in those brush piles? It's because they're safe. If they get way up in that wood, it's hard for a predator fish to get in there and get them. Now, what will happen is, if you come up on a brush pile, and um, you look on your electronics, and you see above the brush pile, and there's crappies up there, that's because they're up there feeding. When they're done feeding, they're going to drop back into that brush, real tight in that brush. So the feeders are usually above it, and the ones that, that aren't feeding, they're going to be tight in that brush because they're safe. But then when they need to come out and feed, they're going to move up. So food and shelter are going to dictate the crappie's movement. So I, I hope understanding these two things kind of helps you understand a crappie's daily movement, why they're doing what they're doing, uh, and helps you catch more fish. So if this video helped you, do me a favor and hit the thumbs up or the like button. Also, if this is your first time here, I'd love to have you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I do videos just like this to help you catch more bigger fish. So like, subscribe, and I will see you next time.